when a husband entertains a groundless suspicion of his wife and withdraws his confidence from her, the original compact is broke, and she owes it to the honour of her sex to endeavour to outwit him. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So that if he suspects me without cause, then it follows that the best way of curing his jealousy is to give him reason for it. Undoubtedly. <coughs> Step your blockhead, what do you want? I beg your pardon, sir, but I thought you wouldn't choose Sir Peter to come up without announcing. Sir Peter owns the devil! Oh, lad, I'm ruined, I'm ruined! <laughs> sir, trust I let him in. Oh, I'm a duck! What's the leave of me now? Mr. Logic! <laughs> Conduct of late has made me very unhappy. Indeed, I'm very sorry to hear it. Oh, yes, it is but too plain. She has not the least regard for me, and what's worse, I have pretty good authority to suspect she must have formed an attachment to another. Indeed, you astonish me. <laughs> yes, and between ourselves, I have discovered the person. How? You alarm me exceedingly. Oh, oh, I knew you would sympathize with me. Yes, believe me, Sir Peter, such a discovery would hurt me just as much as it could you. Oh, I am convinced of it. Oh, oh, it is a happiness to have a friend whom one can trust, even with one's family secrets. Oh, oh yes. But uh, have you no guess who I mean? I haven't the most distant idea. What say you to Charles? My brother? <laughs> no, no! Impossible, Sir Peter. You mustn't credit the scandalous insinuations you hear. No, no. Charles, to be sure, has been charged with many things, but I could never think he would meditate so gross an injury. There may be a man capable of such baseness, to be sure, but for my part, Till you can provide me with positive proofs, you must excuse me with holding my belief. However, if this should be proved on him, he is no longer a brother of mine. I disclaim kindred with him, for the man who can break through the laws of hospitality and attempt the wife of his friend deserves to be branded the pest of society. Oh, what a difference there is between you. Such noble sentiments. But I cannot suspect Lady Teasel's honour. Well now, my dear friend, if you please, we will turn our attention to the question of your hopes with Mariah. No, no. <laughs> Another time, if you please, Sir Peter. I, I am sensibly chagrined at the little progress you seem to make in her affection. I beg, Sir Peter, you will not mention it. <laughs> what of my happiness when your disappointments are at stake? I should be ruined either way. And you are on you are so averse to my mentioning your passion to Lady Teasel. I am sure she is not your enemy in the affair. I pray to be you will not <laughs> mention it. <laughs> the man who is entrusted with his friend's distresses can never <coughs> Well, sir. Your brother, sir, is speaking to a gentleman in the street <gasps> and says he knows you are within. Stay, you block, and I'm not with him, and out for say, say, say. Oh, oh, you, sh you shall be at home, and I dare to strike me. Well, why don't you show the fellow up? You'll interrupt Sir Peter, however. 
indulge me, I beseech you. Before Charles comes, let me conceal myself somewhere. And, and do you charge him on the point we have been talking about? And then his answers may satisfy me at once. Oh, by Sir Peter, would you have me join in so mean a trick? To trepan my own brother to... Well, no! What? You told me you are sure he was innocent. If so, you do him the greatest service by giving him this opportunity to, to clear himself. And you will set my heart at rest. Come, come, fear that I'm this thing will do very light. <coughs> what the devil? There appears to be one listener here already. I swear I saw a petticoat. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I'll tell you. <laughs> Though, you know I hold a man of intrigue to be a most despicable character. But you know, it doesn't hold that a man is to be an absolute Joseph either. <laughs> Harky, tis uh, a little French uh, milliner. <laughs> the silly rogue who plagues me. And having some character on your coming sheet. Ran behind the screen! <laughs> oh, you, you rogue! <laughs> but she would have overheard all I have been saying of my wife. That will not go any farther, you may depend on it. No? <laughs> then, then let her hear it out. Here, this, this, this little closet will do as well. Well, go in there. Oh, you, you sly rogue! You sly rogue! Oh, gads, my life, what an escape! The curious situation I'm in, to part a man and his wife in this manner. Couldn't I steal off? Keep close, my angel. 